presentation will address the focus question, how are priority issues for Australia's health identified? Again, focusing on measuring health status with a particular focus on measures of epidemiology and morbidity and using tables and graphs from health reports to look at current trends and major causes, particularly of morbidity in this presentation. So we've looked at mortality and infant mortality and this presentation will focus on morbidity and we'll then look at life expectancy prevalence and incidence. So morbidity can be defined as the incidence or level of illness, disease or injury in a given population. So remember that mortality was about the number of deaths or the death rate in the population. Morbidity is the rate of illness, disease or injury in a given population. So the amount of people that actually have a disease in the population. This table here shows us the common chronic diseases in Australia. Uh, and the first part looks at common long-term conditions. And these are the diseases that affect the most or the largest proportion of people in the Australian population. Arthritis is the most common long-term condition in the Australian population. So arthritis being inflammation in the joints, followed by back pain, uh, problems and disc disorders, hypertension or high blood pressure, asthma and depression. So these are, the, these are the diseases that are affecting the largest proportion of people in Australia. And then we've got the most common chronic conditions managed by GPs. Uh, and these are the ones that, you know, people are actually going to their GPs regularly to get uh, treatment. High blood pressure, uh, diabetes, non-gestational just means it doesn't occur during pregnancy, depression, arthritis and lipid disorders which are essentially issues that relate to cholesterol and the amount of fat in the blood. So these these are the, the long-term illnesses and diseases that are affecting people in Australia. If we have a little bit of a look here at heart disease, the proportion of people that actually have a heart disease as a percentage and you can see that we have a comparison between males and females and what it says is that males are more likely to have a heart disease than females um, as people get older. So from 35 to 44 age group onwards we can see that males are more likely to have a heart disease as at 2011 and 12. Um, but we can see here that as people age, the likelihood of someone having heart disease actually increases. And we have a look at this slide here and we can see that these diseases here are quite common in our society. And, and these diseases, are, I guess, the diseases that are most likely to cause the most disruption to the healthcare system um, because cardiovascular disease affects one in five Australians. Um, cancer affects one in two for males, uh, for people that are 85 years and over, and one in three for females. Chronic kidney disease, one in 10 Australians aged 18 and over. Diabetes, one in 19 Australians. And mental health, of course, one in five um, Australians age 65, age 16 to 85, and then in children, one in seven. So these, these diseases are affecting a fairly large proportion of people, and we refer to this as morbidity because these are the people that actually have a disease or have a level of illness. So when we're referring to this as a measure, we say that this is morbidity because it relates to the amount of people that have the particular disease. So thank you very much for listening and please tune in to the next podcast.